everybody, my name is Luke Thomas. I'm the founder of Friday, and I wanna show you how you can use Friday to automate routine check-ins. The basic idea behind a check-in is that it's a way uh, for an employee and a manager to quickly sync up on how things are going without uh, requiring a meeting. So a lot of people use one-on-ones, which is a really wonderful way to have better relationships. Um, but oftentimes there's kind of this intermediary time period where it's like kind of important to know what's going on if you're a leader, um, but you don't necessarily want to hold a meeting to ask how like people are feeling, right? And so a check-in is a quick way of encouraging feedback on a repeatable, predictable basis so that you can understand what's going on with each person on your team. And so check-ins are really important if you're a manager because they give you this visibility and this information that you uh, previously would only really be able to get in a one-to-one -one conversation. And so with Friday, we help you automate those routine check-ins so that you can understand what's going on, so that you can learn what's going on with each person on your team without having to hold a meeting. So let me show you how this works. If you create a new account on Friday, if you navigate to routines, um, you can see that we have a few different routines. Now, routines is something that you could do personally, but you can also use it with a team. So let's pick the weekly check-in template. What you can see here is that these are just configuration options. Um, this is not what an employee will see. This is just a place where you can kind of architect what the check-in should do. Um, so what you can see here is if you select the template, we pre-populate questions that you can ask your team. So you can see we have a purpose. We have uh, four different question types. We ask, how did you feel about the week? You can see uh, that is an emoji question. So people can respond using an emoji, which is a really rich way of communicating emotion without like writing it down in this like awkward way. We also ask, hey, how productive do you think you were this week on a scale of one to 10? This is not exactly scientific, but the point is that each person has like a baseline. What you ideally can do over time is just figure out like, are they trending in the right direction or not? We also ask, what is the best part of your week? What was the worst part of your week? Is there anything I can do to help? And you can see that this is a um, an open-ended, uh, a place where people can leave open-ended um, responses. You can also see these things we call power-ups. Now, what a power-up does is it allows you to basically add something on at the end of the check-in. So, the truth of the matter is that if you just ask your employees to fill out questions every week, you kind of need like a carrot. Otherwise, it's just like a status update. And people generally don't like sharing status updates. So like there needs to be some type of carrot. It needs to feel a lot more fun and interesting. So that's why power-ups exist. At the end of uh, sharing a check-in, you could do something like say thank you to a coworker. You can answer icebreaker questions so that your team can get to know you. You can offer an idea for improvement or share progress on a key goal or initiative. Most teams we see, at least in the early days, start off with a kudos or icebreakers. So that's what I would recommend if you're just getting started. You can also see that we offer um, uh, some customization on the scheduling. So you could say, you know, maybe I want to run this once a week every Wednesday at 10 a.m. What we can do is we can send this notification or that ping to ask people to share an update. Um, based on their individual time zone, or you can send it based on, you know, a specific time zone that maybe everybody is in. You also uh, have the ability to send a final reminder, so you don't have to run around and ask people for updates. You can also see that you can specify um, individuals or teams to answer um, this routine or this weekly check-in. So you can specify, you know, two, three, four, or maybe even, you know, 15 people if you want, depending on how big your team is. We will also send out uh, a prompt in Slack if you uh, set up your integration. So this helps rise above the noise of, you know, people's e email inbox. So instead, they'll get a Slack direct message. They'll be prompted to visit Friday, share a check-in, send kudos, whatever you uh, set up. You can also customize who can see what. Right. Is this something that only you should see or is this something that, you know, uh, a few other people should see? Well, with Friday, you can customize it as you see fit for a check in. Generally, these uh, roll up to a manager or team leader. So you probably want to just make it uh, just you. We also have the ability to send out like a roll up report um, or a uh, you can push the responses into a channel. 
Now in the example of a weekly check-in, you're probably gonna to wanna to do a roll-up report. So if you ask people on a Friday, maybe you want to receive a ping to view a, uh, a report of what people said on maybe like a Monday morning first thing. Um, all this does is this determines when we should ping you and tell you to view the report that we create. Now I'm gonna show you what the ex uh, employee experience is on the other end, right? So you as a manager, you just configured a routine in Friday for a weekly check-in. You asked some people to answer a few questions and then share some kudos at the end. And so what happens is if you invite the members of your team, um, they will get prompted over email to accept and join their account and then also fill out the weekly check-in that you created. And so what you can see here is I have this uh, routine notification um, and I can respond here. So what you can see here is that people are uh, prompted to answer those questions that you configured, right? So how did you feel about the week? Well, I felt pretty good. Um, how productive? Well, I was an eight out of 10. The best part of my week was, you know, doing X, doing Y, doing Z, right? We have some kind of fun ways to uh, incorporate like GIFs and to uh, you know add some richness to your update um, so that it's a lot more interesting, right? You can kind of use highlighting and do some other things. Um, you also, over time, you, if you have your planner connected, you can see those activities here in the sidebar. You can also view uh, previous responses um, to check-ins from the past so that you can remember what you did. Um, and if you want, you can actually even connect um, some different tools like Trello, Asana, uh, to do us in other places so that you can pull the work into view, right? So we're trying to help you send better updates by pulling the context and the work um, that you've accomplished. So you can see here, what was the worst part of your week? Anything I can do to help? Right, and you can see here at the end, I have the option to send a kudos to my boss, let's say. I can make this public. Let's use the emoji and boom. Now we've fig uh, we've sent the uh, routine update, right? So this rolls up into a feed. You can see that here. We also show the kudos in their own dedicated feed in Friday. And uh, if you want, and if you have Slack or Teams uh, set up, we will automatically, depending on how you configure it, uh, we can push out these updates uh, one by one into a channel for uh, more visibility. And so, yeah, in a nutshell, this is how uh, a weekly check-in works in Friday. If you're a leader, you can view reports and see uh, trends develop over time based on the questions that you ask. But all in all, the reason why the weekly check-in is important is because it helps break down the barriers to sharing information and what's going on, which is incredibly important when everybody is working uh, you know, remotely and from different locations. You don't have the ability to understand what's going on. It's not easy to bump into coworkers. You're no longer all together in the office. So what you need to do is you need to find a way to understand what's actually going on. And something like a weekly check-in done asynchronously can really, really help you. So I hope this makes sense and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks.